In this coding exercise, we're going to talk about how we can convert a hash to an HTML friendly set of parameters. So if you go to Google and you type anything in, so if I type in something like baseball, then right up here you can see that my baseball search has actually been set to a set of parameters where Q is equal to baseball. And this is something that search engines do, but many other applications will do the same thing. And if you've taken any of my Rails courses, then you know that this is a pretty common thing in routing and giving the ability to set parameters. And then you also have the ability to have multiple parameters in there, and then you can grab those, run database queries on them, things like that. Well, in our coding exercise today, we are going to build this, and we're going to implement monkey patching and build a new method for hashes. If you come here and you see that we have a hash method, or we have a hash set of data right here, the topic for our example is baseball, and then we also have a team. And what we want our method to do, and the method needs to be called param underscore converter, we want this, when it runs on a hash, to actually be converted to a string. So it needs to return a string, and the string is going to say topic equals baseball, and then separate it out to give a ampersand, and team equals Astros. So this is something that it comes up quite a bit in just regular kind of day-to-day -day development whenever you're working with any kind of way of uh, manipulating APIs or working with hashes, anything like that. So that is our example or our test case. Now the way that we can implement monkey patching is by opening up the hash class which we've talked about how that works before and now let's talk about creating that method. So I'm going to create a method called param converter and inside of this I'm going to first call self. So self is going to say for this hash that this is being called on perform these actions. And this is where we're going to call the map method. And inside of it, we're going to iterate over the hash. So map works very well with iterating over hashes. And by default, it's going to take the entire hash and it's going to combine these two items. So I'm going to, and I think it'll make more sense when I actually implement it. So I'm going to give a block variable of i and and say i multiplied by equals and what that's going to do is this is going to say that whenever you run this and this is a very cool thing that map does for us whenever you multiply two items that maps iterating over and it's a hash it'll actually place the string that we've multiplied in between the two items so for topic it's going to add a, this little equals in between topic and baseball. So for each element inside of the hash, it's going to do this. It's going to join them and make them equal to a string and then also put whatever we want inside of it right here. Now that is the first part, but then we also need to multiply all of this and put a ampersand in between that. And the way we can do that is actually with a, another multiplication and inside of it we're going to multiply a string and this is something that Ruby does very well where it allows you to take different data types such as a hash and then when you use other tools such as multiplication and some of these operators it'll actually take that and it'll allow you to do things such as combine those and it will return a string by default and the reason why it knows that is because we're multiplying it by strings so this is something that it's more of a convention in the way that Ruby's set up, but uh, once you get used to it, you'll discover that it's actually quite handy, especially for, for performing tasks like this. So let's test this out before we actually go and uh, run our test. So I have our hash right here, and now I should be able to call hash.paramconverter. And if I run this code, 
it should equal what we're looking for. Yes, there it is. So here we have topic equals baseball with an ampersand of team equals Astros. And just to kind of review, because I know I went through that a little bit fast, what we're doing here is map is going to iterate over all the elements in the hash. When we send it to this block, I is going to combine the items by multiplying them and then putting a equals in between them. And then from there, we're multiplying all of the elements by an ampersand, which is going to combine them and put an ampersand right in between them. So this is something that's pretty handy whenever you're working with params, but it's also good to know that this is the behavior that Ruby has when working with the hash data type. I'm gonna come down here and make get rid of these items. And let's run our tests. So I'm gonna run December 30th. And as you can see, we have one example and zero failure. So great job if you went through that. Hopefully that gives you a little bit better idea on how you can manipulate hash data and use it to your advantage.